Hong Kong is a major hub for Credit Suisse and home to many of our clients as it is to us. Given our Swiss heritage, we are particularly proud to be the leading sponsor of the M Plus SIG exhibition series. And we very much treasure the partnership we have with the West Kowloon Cultural District Authority and M Plus SIG. Art and cultural sponsorship is a long-standing tradition at Credit Suisse and an integral part of our corporate philosophy. We believe that art is an important expression of culture, history, and after all, life itself. With sponsorships like these, we aim at contributing to the societies and communities in which we all work and live in. It's the first time uh, any museum has the material to tell a chronological narrative uh, of the last 40 years in China and how it reflects society. I'm really touched by the first steps that artists did in the early or mid-1970s uh, during the Cultural Revolution when they secretly were fighting for their freedom to just be artists, to paint a landscape or a view out of the window, uh, the so-called no-name group. For this show, we try to we'll be, we are now doing to make this show in a very chronological way. So we make a one chronological show, which we call the four decades of Chinese art from 1974 to 2010. So that's the way we want to show year by by year and how Chinese contemporary art from statues from of the underground then become like kind of the booming and how they react the ra rapid so social changes in China. Our major aim is we want to show how Chinese art reacts to such rapid social changes in such a compressed time, which is very rare in the world. Now for M Plus, it's the first uh, sponsorship relationship we have actually uh, with a corporate sponsor or partner. And uh, for us, it's a very good start because we, we work with uh, a sponsor, a partner that has a long tradition in supporting cultural events, exhibitions, art, and now do it for the first time in Hong Kong. So it's a very exciting situation for us and it's nice to work with a professional, reliable organization. So it's a true pleasure. And then of course, it's an interesting connection to the fact that there is an exhibition happening also based on the SIG collection, partly ours and partly belonging to Dr. SIG, uh, that opens in Bern and that it has the same sponsor. And I would say for M Plus, the sort of Swiss connection is important. Not only do we have a major Swiss benefactor in the form of Dr. SIG, but we also have Swiss architects for our building that we're building now and you know there are many links to Switzerland in a way so it's a very nice relationship. Since Hong Kong is telling the chronological story of the last 40 years I focused on works that were produced after 2005 because I wanted to know how a younger generation who's used to travel to go to find information in the internet and has its international residencies uh, works with art. I wanted to see if, it, if there is anything Chinese I see in this art or if it's just an international, global, contemporary art. For me, this collection would allow to represent this change better than a written text. Uh, you know, you would have to read a hundred books to get that type of information and that variety and, and that emotion coming over that uh, rational thinking coming over to you. I think such an exhibition, of course, only allows a limited glimpse, but if you would roll out the whole collection, you will get just a very accurate and a very moving and uh, all-encompassing view about the transformation of China. Uh, Credit Suisse has been a very solid partner for the various exhibitions first in Bern, they were the first ones to uh, sponsor this uh, very first exhibition, large exhibition about Chinese art in Switzerland and in Europe. And uh, yeah, they kept doing this and I'm very happy they support this exhibition in Hong Kong. It's uh, an important step, I think, for everyone involved. For me, the whole ensemble gives the real impact 
It shows the width and the depth of Chinese artistic practice, which is really not very known, and neither in China nor outside. So it, it's, it's the multitude of all this, and maybe of the two parts of the exhibitions, with, which allow you to understand more of contemporary China. Mm -hmm.